Hi everyone and happy International Women's Day. My name is Bee Broda and I'm a travel journalist and I've traveled much of the world, including the Ukraine. In fact, I am of Ukrainian descent. Both of my grandparents on both sides all the way back have been Ukrainian. So what's happening in the world today is striking me personally, of course, especially since the Ukraine had become so free. It was clamped down in 1917 and had so many problems for decades. But in the early 1990s, it became a little more free and until recently was planning to join Europe and the women were free to work and free to operate like in the Western world or in Europe. So it's heartbreaking what's going on. Um, what's lovely as women is that we have a different way of looking at things and a different way of helping. And one of the most heartwarming stories that I read recently was I heard that the women of Poland left baby carriages at the railway station, many, many baby carriages, so that the mothers that fleed the Ukraine with kids would have something. So that's the way I think that women work from a very personal one-on-one -on -one basis. We don't have tanks, we don't have armor. But we have our humanity and we can touch each other from our hearts, one-on-one, -on -one, heart to heart. We are much more powerful than we think. And that's another thing that I read yesterday. The forces of dark and the forces of evil are there. But each one of us is a beacon of light that even if we feel helpless, we can help by sending our energy of light and good to, to the direction of Ukraine and everyone else that's going to be affected by this. And of course we can help by sending whatever money we have that's going to provide supplies for the people that are suffering, suffering there. So I would just like to say there's hope as long as we are all here, shining light in this world, there is hope. So women, let's keep shining our light and let's have a happy International Women's Day.